Good morning, good morning, welcome, welcome to my channel, how are you? Today, we are doing another special edition. I read based on where um, the planets are, so if you're new to this channel, this is what I've been doing lately, and it's giving us vibes. You know what they say, it's, you're giving me vibes, Sal. How are you? I am smiling even though you don't see me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> this the hand is smiling. Okay. <laughs> so let's see what's going on for today. What uh, what are we seeing for today? I'm using a um the trio of SEX magic. So let's see what's what's gonna give us. Okay. The moon is in Purva Falguni today, which is a lot of bad stuff that is going on. It is the hammock. So it is known for bed pleasures also, or some you know some people who has moon placements here. They do everything in bed. They work in bed. They eat in bed. They sleep, of course, in bed. You know, other people don't even sleep in their bed. They just sleep in the couch. That's your ex-husband. Thank you. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> so they probably don't have purva falguni. <laughs> they have purva couch. <laughs> the end of the couch. Here we go, lovelies. Let me go. Oh my golly, she is a Ten of Pentacles today. She is walking in the coins. Uh -huh. She is serving us. I am worthy. Mm -hmm. And I am unapologetic. I deserve. This is what you're feeling right now. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, let me just cover her because we don't have the law of the free, the N-I-P-L-E-S. Free, the N-I-P-L. She cannot show it on her end. Okay. I'll show it in the in the extended. But she is just being persuaded, pursued by this uh, energy, meaning the masculine right here. This is not Divine Feminine, okay. A special edition. I'll, I'll bring back the Divine Feminine. So she is just well-rested. She's actually in the couch or in the bed. Um, she feels that you, if you want me, you come and get me. I am worth it. Um, she's confident. She's secure. Um, and I'm, I'm definitely referring to a she, uh huh because uh, this is uh, this energy is a uh, female okay and she has a lot to offer mm -hmm. she has a lot to offer and she's proud of herself she is not in any way shape or form okay um can be bought easily by you know um sweet nothings yeah um this moon is in leo so this is where the ego is the i mm -hmm. strongly okay um especially this is uh, also a um um, a kama nakshatra, which means pleasure also. So you're seeking pleasure and you're going to get pleasure because you deserve it. Mm -hmm. Let me see here. Let me see. Let's keep going. So someone's going to pursue you. Mm -hmm. Because that's the, that's your energy that you're giving out. Oh, look at that. She is an empress. Oh, darling, money is coming. Windfall, I'm shaking. There's so much money. <laughs> so let it rain. It's Labor Day weekend. Oh, it's a Labor Day. It's not the weekend anymore, but definitely you've been splurging or you've been saving. Love your cards. You're self-centered, which is good because that's the only thing that you need right now is to center yourself. <laughs> See, people think that being self-centered is like putting your ego in center. No, you're putting yourself first in the middle of the situation where... What do I get here? Because I will give you everything that you want as an empress. I will nurture and care for you. But, okay, will you reciprocate? This is what you're asking this person. So there is a challenge here. Um, I feel like they really, really like you. They adore you. This is Venus. Let me go to the to our current transit. Mm -hmm. Lately, I'm just enjoying my reads. Like, I'm just living for my reads. I'm the most happiest reader ever. <laughs> With sarcasm. Okay. I'm very happy. Oh. <laughs> okay. So let me see what's going on with Venus. Oh, wow. Venus is out zero degrees in Libra now. Out of debilitation. She is happy to spend her money. Okay. <laughs> No wonder, no wonder he's, she's saying, it's like, I'm not working anymore. Venus in Virgo, I'm out. The queen bee, the princess is thriving. Okay. She is slaying and it is just Monday. Even though she, she's, uh, she's, uh, she's okay with the moon. She's not like uh, um, enemies. Uh -huh. So at zero degrees in Libra, this is um, in your chart, when you see your chart and you say, you see zero degrees or... 
um le- latter degrees 27 28 like that um it it's either it's giving birth which is very strong these are called miracle degrees okay oh sorry about that okay so whoever from Tampa Florida stop calling me i will not buy your insurance okay <laughs> <laughs> Someone from Florida, but hype to Florida. Love Florida. Oh, um, but yeah. Uh, so the zero degrees in your chart is the give uh, the uh, the giving birth of a planet. So these are strong. Zero, one, two, three degrees. This the planet is very very strong. Think of it like a baby coming out and it's yelling and it's screaming. So Venus right now is screaming. You deserve, darling. You deserve with that Empress. Look at that. This is splurging also. So Venus, its own home. I don't think it's its. I uh, uh, no, it's Mulatricona. Yeah, this is Mulatricona of uh, of Venus. Yes, which means it can give us more than fifty percent when a planet is in its own home. It's fifty percent because if the planet is in its own home, then they're kind of um too comfortable to function. Okay, um, Mulatricona will give us, I believe, seventy five percent result, which means about partnership, business, and trade, which is seventh house. Which is good. If you are a business owner, oh, here we go, business owner. Okay, I thought this is Purva Falguni. <laughs> okay. If you're a business owner, money is coming to you. Love it. Okay. Right now, Mars is in Virgo, zero degrees. Okay, love that too. Which means that, because Mars loves to be here, okay, in Virgo, because it gets things done. And we know Virgo needs to get things done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Mercury in its exaltation. It's a, uh, uh, so we have a good day for planets. Okay, Sun and Moon and Leo. Okay, how does it work today with the Sun and the Moon being together? I believe there was a new Moon also. Yes, there was a new Moon. So which is very auspicious for things to begin a new beginning for the people who's watching here about being in love and deserving of love. You will be healthy. You will be successful. Embrace it. Hit that like. Share that button. And then wiggle that hips. Okay. Shake that. Ass. <laughs> well, show me what you got. Yes. Okay. I know you guys miss my face. Because <laughs> I'm just happy here. I miss you guys too. Okay. But I did some cosmetology. Cosmetology. That's the other channel. <laughs> my channel. <laughs> soon, soon, soon. Here we go. Mm-hmm. You got the Ten of Wands. She is riding. Uh, she is riding the... <laughs> I have to cover it. Okay. So there's something intimate affair over here. Um, this is, I don't know what you call this, but they're both standing and making passionate, intimate connection. So she is really working hard for it. All right. So I feel that in relationship, all right, you are willing to work hard for it as long as they are hard working. <laughs> This nakshatra is serving as a lot of intimacy. So are they hard working? Ask yourself. <laughs> a little stall over there with my speech. <laughs> so Mercury is the planet of laughter. It heals us. That's why Mercury in Virgo right now, everybody is getting healed. Mm-hmm. Now others, they call this, uh, if it's about intimacy healing, it is possible that through SEX, you can get healed. Mm-hmm. Or you can get pregnant. <laughs> Either or. Okay. But I see here, this can be what we call an intimate affair that you're going to have with this person that you will enjoy. Okay. Which I support if it involves healing. For others, you are married. Okay. I do not support any uh, any intimacy out of marriage. I'm sorry. But it is not religion. This is spirituality. Okay. So I'm not trying to preach here. I'm trying to make you wealthy. <laughs> yes. Okay. Because you're, you're the karma that you share with the person, that's different. Mm-hmm. So if you keep it to yourself like an empress, look at her. Okay. Her legs is closed. Because nobody is allowed to enter the gates of heaven, not unless they're willing to work for it. Ten of Wands. If you want it, you got to commit to it. Mm-hmm. This is what you're asking for this person. You got 10. So you're seeing results in this relationship. Mm-hmm. Jupiter in zero degrees. Can we get an amen for this? Okay. How come everybody is zero degrees today? Whoever is born today, I don't know what's going to happen with their life. But they're all zero degrees in this moment. Okay. Wow. Uh, in retrograde. Okay. In Aquarius. And that is a fifth house from Venus. And we know Jupiter loves the fifth house. It's the intimacy. It's the dating life. It is the fun house. All right. And Jupiter is having fun right now um, in relation to if it's a, if you're a Libra ascendant. Ooh, darling. 
you are gonna get it. Okay, you're gonna get a fat one over here. Okay, <laughs> when I say that, when I say fat one, you know, the P H A T. Okay, that one. Okay, I think you can say that, right? Okay. Well, I said it already, so I do apologize if I cannot say it, <laughs> but I know you can say it. Okay, so I'm seeing here a lot of, um, I feel like a lot of dreams will start to manifest. I'm seeing it. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing a lot of joy, okay, because uh, you want, it's in retrograde. It is coming back though on October 22 for Jupiter. So I feel like it, it it's it's having its moment right now. Okay? <laughs> Jupiter is having a moment where it's not in Capricorn, which is good. I do sidereal, right? And chances are this Rahu right now, let's see. If Rahu is in Rohini still, let me see. Then we're going to have fun. Oh, it is still in Rohini. Oh my God. Everybody has happy in the ethers. Okay. I feel like they're all enjoying themselves. You know, exaltation of Rahu, exaltation of K2. So there's going to be good things coming to us with finances, money, and relationship. Embrace it. Okay. Um, it's all positive vibes. Okay. Probably... Um, Someone didn't get paid. Someone got laid. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, it's more of a Falguni. <laughs> okay. So let's see. It is a. It is a very. Uh, it is good to work right now with um with your divine feminine. I don't know how you would do it though with regards to enjoying your uh, uh being comfortable with your uh how do you call that S E X orientation something like that. Wear something that invites the energy, not other people. You're not hosting, okay? That invites the energy, the confidence, okay? Now, we all feel like, let's just say a specific color today. Um, of course, moon is white, it's pearl. Um, but let's just say you really like red. Oh, no wonder yesterday I was looking at red cars. Last night, oh, I was looking at red cars for whatever reason. Because uh, it makes you feel like, I don't know, masculine, you know, like, uh, you know, sensual. So today is a day of sensuality. Okay. Love that. Mm. You got here, Knight of Pentacles being pursued and persuaded. Now, this is being, uh, being charmed. Look at that. You're going to be charmed by this person. Okay. They have the offer. You don't make the offer. Okay. Mm-hmm. However, okay, there's a however here. Um, let me see here. There will be some differences in values and opinion of where the relationship should go. So these are for adult relationship because these are people who already made passionate connection. Um, you are saddened because um, this person um, is only available to you to a certain degree. Okay, so this person, see, when a person is comfortable with you, they only give you 50, 50%, 50 right? <laughs> Just like a planet. So this person, basically, it's not in its molotricona, okay? The person you're dating is only giving you 50%, and this is where you feel betrayed. I think I can show this to you, Seven of Swords right there, okay? So he and she over there, okay, I have to call it the he-she, the, the image are he-she, okay? Um, um. It's showing here that you are not satisfied because you know that you deserve more as an empress, but why are they give, giving you only 50%? What is 50% in relationship? Only for convenience. So basically, you live in Brooklyn like a bodega. Okay. A bodega is like a sari-sari store. Iha. Parang tindahan lang sa kanto. Bodega. Okay. So, uh, so for people who doesn't know a bodega, bodega is like that corner store, all right? So they treat you like a corner store, very convenient. So this person is in and out of you, in and out of you, in and out of the relationship and not really staying. And mind you, you are an empress. Like you got the works. But for whatever reason, this person refuses and denies the commitment part. The love is there. The passion is there. But to commit is totally different. Mm -hmm. So let me continue this reading. Uh -huh. Link down there in the description box below for the extended. Everything you need is going to be down there um, for anything personal, you know, anything personal. If there's personal reading, it's going to be available down there. If it's not, um, don't believe those people who's trying to message you. That is not me at all. Okay. So let's see where is this going as more of your bed pleasures with this person. Um, I feel like you cut them off though. It is seven of swords because you're turning yourself back from them. And you're saying it's like, no, you cannot. 
Okay, not and un not until you put the same effort over here. But I feel like you have this dynamic with this person that they're really um on and off with you. All right, I'll see you guys again. Bye.